Hey, what's up guys? John here. Xi Jinping told Vladimir Putin that we are getting ready to see changes not seen in 100 years, and they are going to be driving these changes. Well, the more I look into this, the more I start to you know, get a little bit more concerned about the dollar. I believe we're stepping into the greatest wealth transfer of all time, and I believe that we are being pushed into a direction that is going to weaken the dollar and weaken the U.S. economy over the coming few years. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what's going on and the development in the BRICS nations and how this whole thing is likely going to play out. So please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's going to share this content to educate more people about what's really going on in the economy. And also, today's video is sponsored by my company, GreatCreditFast.com. That's GreatCreditFast.com. We help people fix their credit so that they can either do a balance transfer and get out of high interest debt or fix their credit so they can get a mortgage. Maybe they want to invest in distressed real estate. Maybe they think the market's going to continue to go down. We'd love to help you fix your credit so you can get the best financing options at greatcreditfast.com. Our phone number is 561-430-5900. Take a look at this. So Bill Ackman, he came out and said that there's going to be an acceleration in deposit outflows from banks. He also came out and said that the economy is headed for a train wreck. Well, you look at what's happened in America just the last two weeks. You look at SVB, you look at Signature Bank, Silvergate Bank, uh, Republic almost went down. Uh, there, four banks went down almost five. And so as we start to look at that, and then we look at what Jerome Powell did yesterday with increasing interest rates, another quarter basis point, and they say it's only going to be one more hike the rest of the year. But they've said a lot of things over the last couple of years that haven't exactly went uh, to plan. Now, what I think is very likely going to happen is I think they're probably going to continue to increase interest rates on schedule for this year. And I think we could be stepping into a situation in which, uh, you know, Bill Ackman agrees with which is a, a big, big, big problem in this economy. Meanwhile, while that is happening, we look at what's happening in other nations, uh, the BRICS nations, they're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. You look at, for example, in England, they increase interest rates as well, uh, 25 basis points. 25 basis points, and right now their inflation rate is 10.1%. 10.1%. So their energy costs are through the roof. Their economy is in very, very, very big trouble. And... As this is happening, we start to pay attention to what Biden is doing. I mean, the economies never look worse. I know they say, oh, everything looks great, everything looks great. Uh, I don't know what they're reading, what they're seeing, the data in which they're looking at, but it, to me, doesn't seem real. It seems like they're looking at something that's simply just not accurate. The, this new situation on the back of record high inflation uh, and record high consumer debt. I mean, we have $16.9 trillion in outstanding consumer debt, $1.6 trillion in auto loan debt, $1.7 trillion in student loan debt, about a trillion in credit card debt. Uh, I mean, record high mortgages. Uh, we're mortgage debt. We're stepping into a problem, a real problem in this economy. And as this is all happening, you know, inflation is occurring and we're starting to see massive layoffs. This great wealth transfer is going to start. And if Biden moves forward with this uh, tax proposal, I believe this is going to uh, give a massive competitive advantage to all the BRICS nations. Uh, because we're going to start seeing a lot of businesses simply just leave because this is pretty crazy. So Biden's proposal, 2024, uh, and then it also accelerates as well. It accelerates in 2026, so additional. Um, but this will look like this, 39.6% federal tax um, for, and which goes up from 37% for people that are making for, over 400 k uh, and then married couples 450 k The budget also aims at to tax capital gains at the same rate as regular income for those at a million dollars and close the so-called carried interest. He also wants to get rid of a 1031 exchange where real estate investors can buy a property, sell it, gain a profit, roll the profits into a property of like kind and defer those gains into the future, which is great for the city. It's great for the tax base, uh, but they want to eliminate that. They're also talking about the option of uh, pursuing unrealized capital gains which is uh, right here, uh, including regular earnings and so-called unrealized gains, 20% levy. So if you own stock, let's say $100,000 in stock, and you bought that stock, let's just say for a dollar, and you have you know $99,999, they would want 20% of that, even if you haven't sold it, right? And so they are, uh, they're gonna make things very, very, very challenging for capitalists, for people that run a business, for people that uh, do well financially, people that supply jobs, it's going to be a very, very big blow. And so as that is happening, we look at what's going on in BRICS. So it's Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Everybody knows that. But Egypt just joined today, or Egypt becomes a member. Um, and then as that is occurring, 
we have uh, Algiers, Argentina, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Iran, Egypt, Mexico, Nigeria, Pakistan, Sudan, Syria, Turkey, UAE, Venezuela, Zimbabwe are among the countries showing interest in joining BRICS. They have all these countries. I mean, a lot of these countries, they basically produce the periodic table. Like when you're looking at uh, energy, when you're looking at, you know, a perfect, perfect uh, structural place in which you could build product services and uh, supply massive value. I mean, these are the locations that can do that. When we're looking at America, America, we're moving into this direction against cheap fossil fuels, meaning the cost of everything is going to continue to rise. So if you have a situation in which they are not only devaluing the currency, not only increasing the interest rate, breaking the backs financially of Americans, but also reducing, uh, re reducing our access to cheap gas and taxing the hell out of us, what is that going to mean when we're trying to compete with another nation? It means that we're going to be stepping into problems. And uh, as this is all happening, they're saying that uh, 16 countries are planning to join BRICS. And it's almost two dozen countries intend to become members of BRICS in the near or distant future. Now, am I saying this is going to happen overnight? No, I'm not. But what we can see is that we're moving in the direction of which the U.S. hegemony is going to be a thing of the past. We're moving into the direction of which the U.S. dollar is going to be stepping into some very, very big problems. And I believe that they are likely just going to continue to print money over the coming few years. And as that happens, who in their right mind, any of these BRICS countries would want to buy our debt? Who would want to support this country, right? I mean, if you were any of these countries, even if you weren't, would you support America looking at how the U.S. dollar has been essentially weaponized in the view of many people, many countries around the world. That's what's happened. I mean, we stepped in, we were confiscating assets, we were, uh, you know, putting all these different types of standards and policies and limiting people's purchasing power and limiting uh, their ability and their access to banking. We were doing things in which even if you had a neutral, neutral position in both sides, you would look at that and say, you know what, if I wasn't neutral, would I want to be in that situation? Right? People are simply going to say no. They're going to be looking for other options. And when we look at uh, what's happening in these BRICS nations, I think that they found other options. This has been in the works for a very, very, very long time. This isn't something that just happened. You can see information on this from decades ago. So this has been in the works. Uh, we're stepping into the greatest wealth transfer of all time. I'm not saying this is a, a bad situation. If you're an American, I mean, this isn't something that where you should inject emotion into it. It's unfortunate. It really is. But uh, back to the old saying, it's true. It's smart people see things for how they really are and everyone else sees things for how they want them to be. And so if you see things for how they really are, you position your business accordingly, you get into the right industry accordingly, uh, you position yourself to where you are, you know, maybe even I think one of the big trends coming forward is going to be second citizenships, passports, uh, offshore bank accounts, things like that. I think we're going to start to see a lot more interest in that area in the next year, two years, three years, as people start to... Uh, take off some risk. Take some risk off the table in America. And I'm not, I love America. I'm not saying America is, is a, a bad place or thing. What I am saying is that they're pushing America into a very, very, very uh, bad direction. And this is going to push a lot of really smart entrepreneurs, a lot of smart business owners, a lot of capitalists to be forced to consider other areas. What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think that this situation here, these proposed new taxes, and this inflation problem and how they're handling this is going to be something that is going to be gone, you know, let's just say, go unfelt. Or do you think that they are almost intentionally running America into the ground? And if this does in fact happen and we start to step into the situation, how can we just continue and go unscathed as uh, the superpower of the world? I don't see it. I just, I would love to see it. I'm just looking at things logically. It, it, to me, looks like we're going to continue to print money and, uh, and this inflation problem is going to get worse and worse and worse. Another way of looking at this, if you look at all the people on Social Security, all the people that have pensions and people that they, they planned for 2% inflation, 3% inflation for their retirement, what is going to happen if they simply can't really live? They can't survive. They can't make it. There, there's, going to be a, there's going to be more and more and more demand for social services in this country. If you look at what's happening right now, even with the tech revolution that's occurring, look at ChatGPT. I know some people love it, some people hate it, but advancements are happening very quickly. There's going to be a lot of jobs 
likely to be lost. And as that begins to happen, there's gonna be more and more and more demand on social ser or services such as UBI, universal basic income, and how are they gonna fund it? They're gonna be funding it through printing more and more and more money. And the more money they print, the less value that we have in our currency. And the less value we have, um, the more people are gonna be dependent on UBI. Mm -hmm. So we're stepping into something very, very big here. Uh, I think it's going to be a situation that greatly uh, advantages a place like you know Russia, um, China, I think these, India, I think these locations over the coming, I would say over the next couple of years, we're gonna be starting to move into a direction where those locations, they really greatly benefit. What do you think about it? Drop it below, hit the like button, subscribe here and subscribe also on my second channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts on this because some people, they think, you know, Burks, this whole thing's gonna happen. Other people think, no, it's not gonna happen. Just looking at the fundamentals, it seems like it's gonna happen. Uh, but I do believe there's gonna be massive investing opportunities. I think there's gonna be a ton of, uh, ton of ways in which you can make a lot of money. This is the greatest wealth transfer of all time. Money is never lost, it's simply transferred, and you position yourself accordingly, some of that money will be transferred to you. So if you'd love to uh, fix your credit, to position yourself to invest in distressed assets, again, we'd love to help you at greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com, phone number 561-430-5900. And um, you can subscribe on uh, Instagram as well for short form content. Catch you guys in the next video.